Okay, so you have a JPEG file and you want to convert it to an EPS file. Um, most likely you're trying to convert it to get those paths. You have um, some other software that reads those paths or, or whatever the reason may be. This is a very, very simple way and free way to do it. Um, and you don't need Illustrator. I would say, you know, use Illustrator to create your paths, but maybe you don't have Illustrator. So this is an alternate method um, to do this conversion. So once you download Inkscape, just go ahead and open the program. Once it opens, open the JPEG that you want to convert. File, open, browse your computer. Mine's right here on my desktop, soccer ball. And I'm going to open that. Link or embed, doesn't make a difference. We can keep default settings and just click OK to get past that screen. And once our JPEG loads here, all we need to do is select it, click on Path, Trace Bitmap. Okay, and once that comes up, all we need to do is click on OK. We can keep these settings. Um, the default settings do a great job. So let's just click on OK. And that gives us a nice little preview. That's how we know that it worked. We can click on the X to get out of here. And then now we want to save as. We want to resave the file, save as type, as an EPS. Here we go. So we want to save it as an EPS. Save. And we want to make sure that convert text to paths, this checkbox right here, is checked. Once that's checked, we click OK. And you can see the EPS file has now saved to my desktop. Now if I open up Illustrator, just to show you how it looks, um, Illustrator, Dragon, there we go. So I open it in Illustrator, and if I select it, you can see that the paths have been created. And actually, if you ask me, it did a really good job. I wasn't able to get it this close um, with Illustrator, but that's just because I'm not that great with Illustrator. So all my paths are here, and I was able to take that JPEG and create the paths and create the EPS file. Um, obviously, if you're going to have... A JPEG that's not very clear um, or the resolution is low low quality JPEG it's probably gonna be a little bit more difficult to get an exact match but Inkscape does a great job so I highly recommend trying this and maybe tweaking those settings um, to try and get a better trace but besides that uh, you should have no problem and I hope this helped you out so thanks for watching